Okay, folks, so what I've got here is I got a glass of water right there. That is a plastic cup made of a dielectric material, and in it is water almost all the way up to the top. Uh, without increasing the size of my capacitors, I was unable to increase the length of my spark. But by incorporating this glass of water between my spark gap, you should be able to witness much, much longer sparks as these sparks actually wrap around the outside edge of this cup. Uh, what is happening here is that it's actually charging the water in the cup and the surface area of that water against the inside of that dielectric is gathering a, a like charge to the charge that's going across through the air as the arc. Uh, two like charge repel each other. So it's actually allowing for a charge to build up in the cup or on the surface of the cup and allowing the arc from one ball to go across that surface over to the other ball, riding on the, uh, the field created by the similar charge inside the cup. So I'm going to go ahead now and take this thing for a spin and just show you how well it works. Alright folks, that last two pictures that you saw were actually the biggest arc we produced. It was one that almost wrapped the entire cup. Uh, what I've done here is recreated it with wire. And if you kind of go back and forth, here's our first discharge point would be actually sitting about right there for your ratio. In that shot, you can see the wire is mimicking the arc wrapping all the way around the bottom, coming back and hitting the other discharge ball. Okay, now that we've got that cup out of that wire, you can kind of take a look at it. It wraps around, comes up, hits where that discharge ball would be. It's very, very close to what that arc actually looked like in real life for length. Uh, so what we're going to do is once again pull up our ruler here. And we're going to straighten this piece of wire out to that ruler. So let's go ahead and just kind of work that out a bit here from each side and see just how long that arc really was. Well, that's pretty close right there. We don't need it perfectly straight because there's little flaws. I'm either missing uh, on the, the positive side of the scale of measurement or on the negative. So we're just going to take a rough estimate here. All right, so there we go. Let me walk that up to the camera here so you can see what's going on. Uh, hopefully over here at the end, I get it up there. You'll notice it's a number 11. All the way down to the end there and all the way up to a number 11 here. 11-inch uh, spark is actually going to end up being uh, 825,000 volts. So we're, we're looking at right there, with the backside arc that probably took place, we're definitely pushing well into the 900,000 volt range. Uh, this is really cool to see. It means with some better capacitors, we might even hit like 1.9 megavolts, something, you know, really close to that. Uh, so I thought I'd just throw this in there at the end. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian in the Teslonian Man Show.